this right here is all the clothes that I'm taking. Hello, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel, Megan Chan Vlogs. Today is a very exciting video, so I'm doing a pack with me for going to Australia. So, I'm doing just my cabin bag in this video and then I'm going to do a separate one for my personal item and for my fanny pack. So, I'm flying to Australia tomorrow. I'm flying tomorrow. <laughs> I'm flying with British Airways, so I'm flying from Heathrow to Singapore, have like an hour and a half layover in Singapore, and then flying Singapore to Sydney. I'm actually travelling hand luggage only, because I'm flying with British Airways and you get 23 kilos of hand luggage, <laughs> like that is wild! So I'm going to go through the bag that I'm taking, and then I'm going to go through like how I'm packing it. Also, welcome to my spare room, if you've seen a pack with me before, it's come from my spare room, but I now have a carpet. The wall is green, we're having a good time. The bag that I'm taking is a wheelie suitcase. It looks massive on the thing, but it's like a cabin bag size. So it's the East Pack Traverse, Traverse, 44 litres, but it's like a, like a cabin bag sort of situation. So I'll just do a quick overview of the bag in case you're looking to buy it. So it's cabin bag size. I'll link like the information, like the link about it below. I got it from Amazon. It's got a handle on the top, a handle on the side, which is unusual for cabin bags having a handle on the side as well. It's got a telescopic handle like that, for obviously dragging it. And it's got a thing where you can lock in your zips. And then on the front, it's got a zip pocket on the front and then it's a clamshell style because we love a clamshell style thing. So this is, this is, this is the bag. The reason that I've gone for a little suitcase is just so I don't get as much back sweat. This is, this is the aim. Also, my face is like so pale because the window is there and it's quite like it's spring outside. It wasn't spring yesterday when it was absolutely cabinet down when I was running a half marathon. But there we go. There we go. We're gonna start off with clothes. Now I have <laughs> I have new packing cubes. I normally have the Eagle Creek Isolate Clean Dirty Backpacks, uh, packing cubes. I still have clean dirty ones, but I've also got compression ones. So they're from the brand Action. I found them on Amazon, but they're an American brand, so they were like imported. So I'll just give you a little tour. Inside the packing cube, I have like a little thing of, it's like a block of perfume, that's like orange blossom. Oh, it smells good. And this is just to keep my clothes smelling fresh because they just reek after a while, even when they're clean. I checked with the makers on Etsy and they said that they won't melt because they were made like in Morocco where it's hot. So, so these packing cubes are, the brand is Action and it has a clean side and then it has a dirty side for when your clothes get dirty. And then you can also like compress it down. So it's got a third zip that's a compression zip. So I thought that'd be useful just for fitting more clothes in. So I'm going to Australia in the start of their autumn. So it's still like very warm compared to like UK standards, but it's not like Scorchio hot. And I imagine I'm gonna be like a little bit chilly at the Blue Mountains, but I'm hoping not to be chilly otherwise. So shock horror, I'm not taking a coat. I'm taking a jacket, but I'm not taking a coat. So I'm gonna start with my traveling outfit. So I'm wearing black sweaty betty leggings on the bottom. So I'm wearing the ones that I got from Vinted last year that do have a hole in the knee that Rhiannon's sewn up from when I fell over in Thailand. And then I've got a sweaty betty vest top. And then on top, I've got a loose long sleeve top. I've got a really thin fleece, which is actually a child's fleece from Trespass because it was cheap. <laughs> And then I've got a zip up jacket on top as well. I do have like a Packamac waterproof because you need a waterproof wherever you go, but I don't have like a coat to coat. So that's like the outfit that isn't here and also like knickers, like underwear. I'm gonna start with tops. So, so the majority of my clothes are gonna be blue because then that way I can mix and match my outfits. So I'm starting off with a blue vest. So this is like a tank top thing. So it's quite baggy and I'm hoping it'll be good like in the heat. That is Sweaty Betty from Vinted. And then I've got this really, really lightweight blue vest. I got for one euro off the market in Alicante. Then I've got this vest, which is like a jazzy. It's like, um, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's very pretty. It was from Corunda in 
Nick Hens in Australia. Then I have one workout vest. So this is Sweaty Betty and I got it off Vinted. Basically, I shop on Vinted a lot because it saves the planet, saves me money and everyone has a good time. So that is like four vest type things. I've then got one merino t-shirt, so this is from Rohan. I took it travelling with me last year and it's just really useful because it's merino so it's like sweat wicking so you don't get as sweaty in it. Then I have another t-shirt, so this is a Sweaty Betty t-shirt. It's like quite see-through but I thought it would just be good for like sun protection, again from Vinted. This is a crop top, so it's like a, like a wrap waist crop top sort of situation. That is Sweaty Betty and from Vinted. Can you see a theme? And then I've got this crop top, which is also Sweaty Betty, also from Vinted, but it's got like little air pockets on the back of it. So I'm hoping that'll like make it more airy and less sweaty. And then I've got a Gymshark one from Gymshark, not from, not from Vinted, but actually from Gymshark in their Black Friday sale, I think. And I don't need to wear a bra with this because it's like kind of like a bra support top sort of situation as well. Then I've actually got two going out tops, which is, which is unlike me. So the first one is this glittery guy from Sweaty Betty. I actually did buy it from the shop Sweaty Betty in their January sale. And this just like will hopefully just look nice on a night out. And then I've got this black top with like a lace little guy on the bottom. This is from Shein, Shine, Shein. I tried it again this year. I just, I don't think I'm gonna use it again because quite a lot of the tops I bought off there were see-through and you could see through it if you get my meaning, so. But that, that one thankfully wasn't. And then I've got one running crop top. So I run for Beverly AC and I'm going to be doing some park runs there. So I have my running crop top for that because I'm presuming it's going to be warm because the park runs are at 7am. So I'm presuming they do that because it's hot. So that's why I've got crop top. And then I've actually got two long sleeve tops as well. So I've got a rash vest that's got like little thumb holes, which I thought would be good for like surfing. So I'm going to a surf camp and just for generally hoping that I don't get sunburnt because as you can see I'm a pale gal so I'm hoping I won't get sunburnt and then this white top is from Mountain Warehouse uh, the rash vest is from Mountain Warehouse as well so this white top is a UV blocking white top just in case I do get sunburnt and I want to wear something that's like a little bit longer but breathable so that I'm not too sweaty not too sunburnt so those are all of the tops that I'm taking so all together there are like four vests two t-shirts, three crop tops, two going out tops, a club vest and two long sleeve tops, which is many pieces of clothing, if I'm honest. Probably a bit too many. I'm gonna look back on this video and be like, like Megan, why are you not taking stuff out of this? But anyway, those are my tops that I'm taking. And then I have my bottoms. So, the Sweaty Betty theme continues. I've got, these are, so the leggings that I'm taking are the Sweaty Betty power leggings because I just love the power leggings. They don't fall down, they don't ride up. We just love that. So I've got the Sweaty Betty power shorts as well. So these are the six inch shorts because four inches is Chubb Rub Central and nine inches just looks ridiculous on me. So I really like the power shorts because they've got a pocket on the side that can fit my phone in and then a zipped pocket on the back that I can put like hostel room key in. I've got a pair of those in black. I've got a pair in navy blue. And then I also have a pair in like this jazzy sort of bluey pinky color. So they, I think they're all from Vinted again. So I'm taking those. Controversially, I'm actually taking a pair of denim shorts. So it's controversial because denim shorts just take up more room. However, look how flat they are. This lighting, why is it so light that? If I close the curtains, you're not gonna be able to see me. Let me move forward a bit. That is like absolutely not better at all. Okay, look how thin they are though. And also they have daisies on. So we love that. These are from Shane Shane. Basically, I was buying a load of um, denim shorts on Vinted and they just didn't fit. And obviously you can't send them back if they're from Vinted. So I bought them from Shane. I have a pair of linen shorts that are like slightly more posh, like less casual. So I got these off. Vintage, they're originally from Next. And yeah, I got it for like two quid, so we love that. Next I have a Scort actually, so this is from Shein as well. And I mean, it does what it says on the tin really, it's a skirt and a, and, and a pair of shorts. So it's just nice, like if I'm going on a night out, that I can like wear something that looks like a skirt, but I'm not gonna flash my knickers, which is always ideal. And then I last minute packed a, another pair of trousers. So these are Sweaty Betty, I don't know what, model they are but they've got zip pockets 
So I can put my phone in there and it's just because I'm going to be travelling in my two pairs of trousers and we'll be wearing them for like 24 hours on the plane. So obviously don't want like to wear them again when I get to Sydney. So um, I... I'm putting these in, in case I'm cold in Sydney, because the weather forecast doesn't look great. Anyway, I panicked, I panicked, I've got another pair of trousers. So those are all my tops and my bottoms, apart from what I'm travelling in. And I'm going to put them all in this cube, and also, I'm not going to roll them. I'm going to fold them, which is controversial for me, I think, but uh, it's, it's what I found that works. Okay, that is all the tops and the bottoms. It is hefty. It fit a lot better when I wasn't doing the packing video, so I might repack that later. And then in this smaller packing cube, so it's like half the size of the big one, I've got all my underwear. So I've got nine pairs of normal knickers, so underwear, like whatever you, the things that you wear as your base layer on your, on your downstairs. I have two bras. So they are bras from M&S that you can wear as like a normal bra, but then like do up at the back to be a racer back bra. So that's cool. I've got a new pair of pyjamas as well from M&S, which is always fun. And I also have two bikinis. So I have, these are both from ASOS. I have a Speedo one that's like more sporty. And then I have, I think it's FC UK that's blue. So that's a nice little number. And then I've got two pairs of running socks and a pair of merino socks and I'm also traveling in another pair of merino socks so they're smart wool and they're the ones that you can wear like over and over and you don't get stinky so i've also got a buff in here as well to keep me warm i'm going to a hot country hopefully hot country for like five weeks but anyway i've got a buff to keep me warm so this is this right here is all the clothes that i'm taking bar my traveling outfit these are all the clothes that i'm taking for five weeks in australia so i think that's impressive and then on the side where the clothes are, I have this, which is like a, like a, what do we call it? Like a sarong. It's from Bali, I think. Got little elephants on. And I'm just using this to lie on when I go to the beach. I have my Finding Nemo shower bag. So if you have followed my pack with me since Canada 2022, you will recognise this. I take it with me to the showers in hostels. So that if there's only one hook or if there's no hook, you can put your stuff in here and it won't get wet. So that's going in. And then I have this, which is a cool bag. And I just thought it'd be good for taking packed lunches. It's like an insulated cool bag. Shoes wise, I'm actually taking three pairs of shoes with me, like apart from the ones I'm traveling in. So I'm just traveling in some like A6 runners, my old road runners, the ones I actually bought in the Sydney um, outlet. They're a bit worn out, but they're gonna be very worn out by the end. I actually have a pair of Crocs, which I'm emotionally probably not okay with, but they're these guys, you, they're in sports mode. I'm using the, I'm using the words, they're in sports mode. Um, they're the all-terrain Crocs, so they can be like, you can, you can like go hiking in them. I loved my Tevas last year. However, when they were drying out because they were material, they absolutely reeked. So these are like all plasticky. So I'm hoping that this will help the reek problem. They are not flat, not squashable, but it is what it is. We're going with Crocs. I then have just a pair of Havanas. I've got them in these little bags to keep my bag a bit cleaner. But I've got my like trusty Havana flip flops that I can just like wear around a hostel and stuff like that. I just think a pair of flip flops is necessary when you're, I love the sound of that bag, by the way, on the audio. I think it's just necessary when you're in a hostel. And then I actually have a pair of Converse, which I think is controversial. So they're white Converse and I thought they'd be good for nights out. And also if I want to go and walk in sand, but I don't want to take my trainers because then your trainers are just like forever sandy. And I got them for like six pounds off vintage because they've barely been worn. So those are the shoes that I have. And then in like the front compartment here, of my bag i have this guy that is a fold out waterproof backpack so the idea of this is i'm going to take it when i go on the gari or fraser island tour so that stuff inside here is waterproof and all i have to take is this 
and then inside this little zip I've got a tiny 10 litre backpack that falls out for if we're doing day trips from wherever we're staying on Gari. And I also have a tile inside here because I've got a tile like in each like bit of bit of luggage that I have. Next I've got <laughs> I've got a new I've got a new crossbody bag because it um it's for nights out. So I have actually done a full review of this, which I will link down below when it is published. But this is the Pack Safe Anti Theft Luna Crossbody Bag, and this is the fresh mint colour. And this is I'm going to be wearing it on nights out. I'm taking like a regular fanny pack as well, but this is like a like a cool a cool fanny pack. Heck, what was that? And then this guy inside here, which I'm not going to undo because it's like tight inside it's actually a neck pillow it's in a waterproof coat bag but this is a neck pillow for the plane because it takes blooming forever to get to australia who knows it's on the other side of the world you know and then one last thing is i just have this big dry bag that is like 25 liters because when i go to gari i'm leaving my main luggage on the mainland and i just i just have the heebie-jeebies about my laptop and my ipad getting wet so i'm putting this like inside my day bag that i'll be leaving with the company so this is what this is and then i've got like luggage tags on everything as well so i'll pack this side of it the side with the handle on obviously has a bit less room because it's got like the handles in so i'm putting all of my clothes and whatnot on this side is the aim okay so that was the clothes now i've got like the everything else so i'm going to start with toiletries Obviously, I only have like my non-liquids toiletries in here because my liquids are in my personal item, like ready to take out at security. But this is, I don't think it's actually a toiletry bag. I think it's like an electronics bag, but it's from Mountain Equipment Company, which is a dangerous backpack shop in Canada. So I've got that. I feel like that was, I've seen it sold in Cotswold Outdoors though. So I presume it's made its, sort of, its way over to the UK. In here, I have... So obviously I'm going hand luggage only, so I'm wanting to minimise my liquids. So I have a, oh it's a bit squash, but anyway, uh, half a shampoo bar from Eco Warrior, the one that I always use, and half a face, like a body wash bar situation from Glossier. And then I also have a soap saver as well to like dry the bars out. We'll see how it goes because they are falling apart a bit but i know that the ethique bar that i used last year is sold in australia which is why i used it last year just stung when it got in my eyes you know so this is what i'm taking for that i have powdered sunshine which i have labeled so this is from lush and the idea of this is i put it in my parting so that my parting doesn't get sunburnt because i don't wear a hat that regularly because i like to like make my hair go blonder I've got a tangle teaser, so this is the one that I always take. It's just like the little, a little one with flamingos on. And then I have this guy. So this is my deodorant. This is a natural deodorant and it's called Salt of the Earth. And to use it, you have to like get it damp, put it in your armpits and then wash it off. And it took some getting used to, but it's really good and it lasts forever. So, and it's not a liquid. So that's why I'm taking this. Then next I have a comb, just a regular comb to go with the tangle teaser. I have an exfoliating glove because I find that if I exfoliate my legs before I shave them, then they shave a lot better. I've got a little microfiber mitt that I'm going to use for like washing myself with and then hopefully it's going to dry quickly because it's microfiber. And I have a little face mask. So this is for making my face feel a bit better after I've been on a plane for like 24 hours. And then in the side with the label on, I've got everything like toothpaste related. So I actually have an electric toothbrush and I have in the... In my electronics bag, I have like one spare battery for this. It is, is it a Philips one? It was like 12 quid off Amazon, but yeah, electric toothbrush because then it like buzzes every 30 seconds. So I changed to a different bit of my mouth. So just so that my teeth are a bit cleaner when I'm traveling. I have toothpaste tablet. And again, this is instead of a liquid and it just takes up a lot less space. So you like chew the tablet and then brush your teeth like normal toothpaste. So this is like all of the toothpaste I need for like the five weeks that I'm away for. I've then got like little floss sticks, which are not sustainable. I realise that. I realise they're made of plastic, but I'm using up the ones I have. Whoop. And yeah, I'm going to try bamboo floss after that. And then I have two packs of iron tablets because I get iron deficient very easily. And I've got my pill. So I'm actually back to backing my pill after advice from my GP. So I won't actually have a period when I'm in Australia. So I've got all my pills here. 
and then in my little like more beauty kind of like zip situation i have this little pouch that's got hair bubbles and hair grips in i have a little like eyebrow like wax sort of thing just to make my eyebrows because i don't know if you can see i've had my eyebrows done they're like less pale and more in order and i just chopped off like the top of a brow thing so it'll fit in here this is my brow and then it's not a liquid i then have a venus razor and i've got like a like a protector head on by that brand joey is it i don't know it sounds french so i've got that razor and then i've got two spare razor heads with like the little attachments on as well and then i've got little they're like reusable bamboo pads because i recently got my seconds and thirds pierced and i've got like ear cleaning solution in my liquids bag so that's what that's for i've got the last swab cotton swab for like cleaning my ears and whatnot like not sticking inside my ears because i do you might do damage to your brain you know but then that's reusable better for the environment and then the last thing I have in here is a nail kit. So I've never had problems taking this on the plane as hand luggage before, so hopefully that will be fine. And then what I'm gonna do with this toiletries bag is pop it in a dry bag, because I realize there's no water, there's no liquids in here at the moment, but there will be. So this is just to stop it from leaking onto the rest of my bag, if there is a leak. Next I have my electronics case. I would like to say, how small is this? These are all my electronics I'm taking, so well, most of my electronics that i'm taking so this is an eagle creek pouch love me an eagle creek and it's like a padded thing i got it from there's a designer outlet in cairns but it's from there so it's got like it opens up and it's got like a little zippy thing here so in the little zippy thing i've just got basically like cables for everything so like for charging my phone for charging my ipad for charging my watch because i'm taking i'm not taking my apple watch i'm taking my garmin and it's just got like the weirdest charger I also have a HDMI cable to go from my MacBook to a HDMI because I'll have televisions in some of the rooms I'm staying in. So I'm staying in mostly hostels, but in the hostels, mostly private rooms, if I'm honest, because I am 32. So I just prefer my own space. And then I've got a backup memory stick. I won't be editing from this. It's just to keep my footage backed up in case something happens to my hard drive. And then, yeah, just, just phone chargers, basically. And then in the main little pouch, I've got a like adapter thing with um, an Australian adapter on. So it's got three USB-Cs and then a USB-B, is it? Because I've now got an iPhone 15 Pro, it's USB-C. So that's what I've got this for. Then I've got a floaty stick with like a little screw for my GoPro. I've got a spare GoPro, ba GoPro battery. In this little pouch, I have a microphone. Because when I'm doing voiceovers for things, I like having a microphone now, and it's the Rode Lavelle, Lavelle, something like that. But it's like a tiny one because <laughs> I can't bring my massive microphone. I actually have a spare phone with me in case I get mugged, and I have a spare phone. And then I've also got some spare screen protectors in the bottom as well. I will also be putting this bag in a dry bag as well in case anything leaks in my bag because I don't want my electronics to get wet. I had a I had a bad experience when we got a a boat in Bali like literally like seven years ago and my bag got wet so i just like putting things in dry bags so that it just, my stuff doesn't get damaged basically everything like did up so much better when i first packed this and didn't do it for the packing video anyway then i've got oh hello that's close isn't it and then i've got my random blue cube of things again this is a lot smaller than it used to be it weighs an absolute ton but it's an eagle creek it's one of their packet cubes i think it's either small or extra small but this is basically a little cube of just like random bits and bobs in here honestly the most random things i have a paper handkerchief because why not i have a little bag that i'm going to be using as like a bikini bag it's like it's got daisies on this is just to put if anything's still wet it can go in there i have color catchers so i will be doing laundry when i'm out there so this is just to make sure nothing runs I've got a spare luggage tag in case I want to like label a cool bag when I'm out there. A bottle cleaner, so like a straw cleaner so that my straw doesn't get manky and I don't get ill. I have a waterproof phone cover for if I'm going in the sea. I have a little pouch of padlocks and then also I've got a tile in here as well so that's the tile that's going to stay in my carry-on. pair of goggles for swimming. I have uh, randomly a like a little light 
because I really like having a bedside light and quite often there isn't one in a hostel. I've got a little holder for my water bottle. I've got a plug for the sink. I told you this was random. I've got a plug for the sink because in hostels quite often they don't give you plugs because people flood it if there's plugs and you can't wash knickers in the sink if you haven't got a plug. So then I've got a pocket laundry wash sheet. Along with that theme, I have some washing lines. So these are pegless washing lines. You just put your washing in the twists. Really useful if you're drying clothes at a hostel. I've got a pen. I've got the other half of the shampoo bar and the wash bar. And then I've got a bag for taking my stuff to the laundry. And then I've just got two vomit bags because you never know and that's always good to have. I've also got one in my fanny pack so that I don't have to dig through my backpack. But I've, I've, I've got vomit bags as well. Nothing is packing like it did. I'm going to have to repack everything, man alive. Anyway, I'm taking two towels with me. I've got a Mac Fiber towel from Decathlon. But it's kind of like ribbed, so I'm hoping it actually dries me. And then I've got a hair towel from Dock and Bay. Because as you can see, I have curly hair. And if I dry my hair with a normal towel, it will go frizzy. I have two fold-out bags. So these fold out to big sizes for like if I'm going shopping. I have a spare pair of sunglasses. I have seeing glasses because I'm going to be driving, hopefully, on Fraser Island, on Gari. So I need my glasses to be able to see to drive. I have a hat. I look like an idiot in hats. Hello. I look like I'm like a holiday tour, like, you know, like key camp, like you're a camp rep, especially with the stripy top on. So, I mean, I need it for some protection, but I do look like, like a wally in it. This is the waterproof pack mac that I mentioned. In here, another dry bag, I just have an extension cable. So it's a really small extension cable with an Australian adapter. I have a collapsible lunchbox. So this is just a silicon lunchbox and it collapses like opens out and collapses really useful for making meals in hostels i then have my little pouch of coffee so this is a smell proof pouch and then inside it i have a smell proof pouch with coffee in i then have my collapsible pour over so this guy has a built-in filter so i don't have to take like filter paper with me and i also have oh that coffee i also have a fold out cup just in case you don't get a mug in a hostel or if you just want to like make a coffee in your room or something like that. This is absolutely key for me. I know I'm being a bit extra, but I, I, I cannot live without proper coffee. So I also have a bag of tea. So this has got bedtime brew and biscuit brew of Yorkshire tea. I have a pair of binoculars because then I can see like dolphins and stuff. So this will go in my day bag, but it's just in my carry on for now. And then finally, for my carry on, I have pills. So I am 32 and I do a lot of exercise and I don't quite get all that I need from my diet. So I don't really absorb vitamins very well. So I've got like a high dose multivitamin. I've got ADCAL for calcium and D3. I've got B12 and I've also got Omega. So the reason this Omega is in a separate one and not in my little like dose set boxes for the month is just in case like they get really hot and they melt and then everything smells of fish. At least it's like going to be contained in this. So this is the reason for this. Right, so now I just need to like pack this whole thing. It just, it fits so much better before. I just don't know what's happened. Okay, let's pack this. I think what I'm gonna have to do, because this top bit is bulging so much, I think I'm gonna have to take out the neck pillow. I mean, realistically, I think you can attach a neck pillow to the outside of your bag anyway. I mean, I'm, I can wear it if needed to get on this plane, but I think I might have to put it into this bit instead. Honestly, this fits so much better when I packed it before. What is going on? Is this, I don't think this is even gonna do what, right. This is, this, the neck pillow is going somewhere else. <laughs> this is not, I will come back in a bit later. A few moments later. <sighs> okay, by some miracle, we have this thing closed. I don't understand how it's packed so badly compared to before. Anyway, doing the sides up, and thankfully it's got like, like pack down compression straps on gonna compress it down <sighs> I'm really concerned it's gonna be too wide so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure it and if it's too wide I'm just gonna have to sack some stuff off and I don't know I don't know because I feel like everything in here I need I mean we shall see it needs to pack a lot better than this because that's gonna be an absolute nightmare to pack every time like when I'm moving between places I think I need to repack my clothes, get them fitting a bit better, and then go from there. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I'm hoping the next few ones after these packing ones will be in 
Australia. If you have any questions about anything and want any links to anything, drop them in a comment below and I will see you in the next one.